can't see to I see you seeing me Tell me what you see in me Subject Sundays. Okay, so today's topic is the reality of coming out. We're gonna tell you everything that you're going to expect, everything that's gonna like change and all that. So we're gonna give our outlooks on it. We are gonna share stories that people have DM'd us about and yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so if you're interested in this video, keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is time and patience with spouse. So sometimes parents actually accept the LGBT community because of the way that they were raised. Like they just know that their parents like are okay with it. But in some cases, some parents honestly try to ignore that situation like by any means. When your spouse is questionable about coming out, honestly, the one thing that you really need to have for them is time and patience. If they are forcing you to do so, that's not a healthy situation at all because you're thinking about if they're not patient with me then they really don't respect me as a person because they don't care about how my relationship with my parents is going to be at the end of the day okay so not only with just your spouse also with parents too they need time to adjust they need time to think about what you guys just told them they might not say anything to you they might just look at you like yeah it's a phase but when they see you dating who you're dating for years or you know yeah then they'll be like okay it's not a phase and then that that gives them time to start thinking about what they want to talk to you about how they want to be open with you about the subject like in my case like i feel like i was very disrespectful like i felt like oh well she should accept who i love blah 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 like it's just not fair and i was being really rude and when i think about it right now like as a parent you have to see it from their perspective as well like they're coming to grips like, oh, well, what I thought about my kid is just not happening. You have to be respectful because sometimes their reality is not your reality. So you guys need to both come in the middle. If it's years after years, they're gonna come around. Like, at the end of the day, they I feel will. like they will. Yes. They will come around because at the end of the day, everybody needs to realize that those are your parents. Like, yeah. they birthed you. They held you in a stomach for, what, nine months? I guess, I don't know, sometimes it's six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. 10, 11, 12, but you know, you just, just give them time. Not all the time that it's as positive as we say that it's going to be, but it's like, we want to just speak positivity in the world. The way that you handle the situation is also, it's very important to the way that things are going to like turn out in the end. That's basically the first part for time and patience. Just take time with your spouse, take time with your parents. They will adjust to the situation. They will start coming around and they will start accepting you for who you are because at the end of the day, they want to see you happy. They, I, I want to say they rather see you happy than they rather see you hurt. So. That's for time and patience for that subject. Something that also comes along with it is depression. I don't wanna speak negativity, but I just want you guys to know the truth. Like, this is the reality of coming out. Like, yeah. you are going to feel depressed. You're gonna feel alone because you wanna to express to the world how you feel, but sometimes you're not ready. And basically what she's saying the reason why depression comes into the subject with time and patience too is because like I said your parents might not accept it and they you need to give them time to really think about it so by them taking the time to think about it they might not say the things they want to say to you like how they used to say to you like they might not take you certain places anymore they might not introduce you to certain people anymore so that becomes depression because you want to still feel the same way you felt with them before you told them yeah. how you like the same sex. I have not went through that. Some people might go through that still. I, for example, me, I went through the depression part. I couldn't go certain places with them because I dressed like a boy. They didn't want me to go to family uh, gatherings because Everybody in my family knew, like Leanna like girls. Sometimes when I would walk with my dad, like they'd be like, oh, your son. And then my dad wouldn't know what to say. So, you know, that kind of started making things even more awkward. Yeah. If you don't let it get to you and just, like I said, give them time, then. And, and also if you have a really good support system. It, yeah. It's honestly a big deal because 
when I was going through it, I felt like I was alone. But in reality, I did have friends, but I was just scared to tell them exactly what was going on at that certain point of time because I felt like, oh, well, she didn't accept me, my friends aren't either. Mm -hmm. When really, like, in the end, they are my big support system. Like, it's good to have that one person that is with you through the whole entire thing. Doesn't even have to be your spouse. If it is, then that's fabulous, it's so great. But even if it's just like a friend or anything that you can talk to, you can cry about, that is perfect. Like, make sure that you are speaking truths into your friends because they can also play a big part in this to make you feel like you have somebody by your side. So, yeah. The support system is a big, big part, you guys. Like, friends that are watching that you can make somebody not even go into depression. Yeah. Like, the support system is really a, a big really, yeah. Yeah. So, exception. Um, the way, the reason why I chose the word accept is because... You want to be accepted. Yeah, <laughs> you want to be accepted. And it's like, you don't want to downplay yourself and really like act like something that you're not because you feel like you're not going to get accepted. Like I said, there's friends out there that fully support you for who you are. If you are a guy and you want to wear makeup, I say wear makeup. There are people, honestly, listen, I love guys that cheer and they have full beat faces. Like literally, even if I'm at a competition, I will walk up to them and be like, I love your makeup. Cause you don't know exactly what they're going through. They could have just came out. They could have just wore makeup for their first competition yet. And somebody going up to them and telling them that they're Faces be like, you know, can make their day. So yeah. So not only exception with your friends, but exception with your your parents too. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Some parents they don't accept it. My friends, mm. my parents they don't accept it at all. But they will not just up and like you know leave me and disown me as a child. They, I still visit them. They know who I am, they know who I what I dress like, they know who I date, it's like, you know, but they they don't wanna see it and they don't wanna hear it. Yeah. But I bring her around all the time. Yeah. You know? So I feel like also another thing is is that a parent can be okay with it, but still deny it in their head. So um, there are certain things that you can and cannot say to your parent. I'm not gonna tell you what you can or cannot say to your parent, but it's just like if you feel like they are like slightly okay with it, but not fully like, oh, like I'm taking my girlfriend, respect your parents, respect the way that they feel about the situation. If they're not comfortable enough to talk about what you're doing with your spouse or like where you're going with your spouse, just, just hold on to that. So next we're gonna give you guys some examples for uh, pos positive outcomes and negative outcomes. First, we're gonna start with the negative outcomes first. So the negatives of coming out, the negatives of who you like, the negatives of not even just for your parents and your friends, like other people out there. Like, cause when we walk around, I dress like a boy and she dresses girly. So, and people just stare at us all the time. And it takes a lot out of me <laughs> not to say something. Cause it's like, who gives a fuck? Honestly, who gives a fuck? And it's just like, we're living our lives. I don't understand why people have to comment on other things. Like, I get it. If you don't like the same sex, that's you. It's like, I just don't understand why people are so hateful. I'm not about to spit fire and be hateful back. I'm just gonna ignore it and just go out throughout my day. When people just stare and like, sometimes they say comments and we can hear it, we just laugh, but we just be extra like, I love you, baby. Like, and, we're you know, not, like, and we're not disrespectful either. Like saying like, F you, like you, yeah. this, this and that. We're like, like uh, all it is. Yeah, so we don't care. Honestly, like we, we just don't. we just ignore the hateful comments. Also with the negative part, there's a lot of people that are girls and they dress like they're just comfortable in guy clothes. Mm -hmm. And that comes a big role with the parents. It can be really negative because while you're trying to come out to your parents and you want to dress like a boy, you don't want to have nothing to deal with dresses, skirts, yeah. heels, none of that. Nothing girly, like you don't want to. That is a big part in this negative thing because I went through it. My mom, uh, she just wanted me, you know, to, she just used to go buy me dresses and stuff and then like, 
I didn't know how to tell her I didn't want to dress like it and my dad knew like my dad knew I was a tomboy and she knew I was a tomboy too because she would be like why are you always wearing basketball shorts why are you always wearing big clothes mm -hmm. like you know but in her mind she would she just put in her mind that if I force her to wear girl clothes I can get her out of that face like at the end of the day, that's my mom yeah. so I had to wear it like I wouldn't go to school with dresses on and stuff it's just me because she's a jehovah witness so it's just me going to the meetings in a dress and like you know it's just, it just wasn't me like i felt uncom uncomfortable like i don't know how to say it i used to cry like <laughs> like parents don't understand that you just want to be who you are like forcing somebody to do, to do stuff is just hard and it's like you want to be so respectful to your parents, but at the end of the day, it's like they're also hurting you. You don't want to force your kids to do anything because that's going to make them act out. Like, honestly, you just got to take your time with it. Yeah. You just got to go through what you got to go through. At the end of it, you'll get over it. Like, I did it. I did it for two years with them. And once when I got out the house, I just became who I became. Like, yeah. I just expressed myself. I started dressing exactly how I wanted to dress. But once when you get out of that shell and you break it, like, it just feels so much better. Honestly, you feel confident because it's like, you don't care what anybody has to say about things because you are confident in who you are as a person. On the positive side, you get a good looking girl like this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So yeah, on the positive side, because we want to end this out on a good note, just want you guys to just know the reality of coming out. And I know it's hard, but there's also things that are beneficial. So I know you guys heard of a pride parade. We have two actually. Our first one is in Long Beach, mm -hmm. and then our second one is in June, and that's uh, in Hollywood. It's called Hollywood Pride. Yeah. So. I have never been to one before. This year is actually going to be my first year. But basically, like, when you oh, go... Oh, my there, birthday. It falls on my birthday every year. Okay, so what's actually very amazing that I've seen and I'm very, like, obsessed with, like, looking at all the pictures and all that is that everyone is expressing, like, who they are, like, in their outfits, in their faces, like, their hair, their shoes, everything. Like, you get to be who you are. No one's going to judge you there. Every person you walk past while you're at Pride, you just see nothing but a smile because you feel they're safe. Happy. Everybody feels safe when, you know, like, they're around there. The exact same person that looks just like you, that dresses just like you, that feels just like you, that yes. dates who you date, like, yeah. you know, like, likes the same sex as you. It's just... You just feel like that's your big family. So, another positive. You get to be in love. You get to... You get to be happy. Happy. I mean, relationships are relationships. Relationships are going to go through things, like ups and downs. But it's like, if you're happy with who you're with, do that. That's just honestly like a positive outcome for me. Any her. <laughs> okay, um, another positive outcome. You get to express how you feel and honestly share your stories with other people that are going through the exact same thing that you are. So you're helping somebody else that's suffering through this, that doesn't know exactly what to do, and that's what this video is to help you guys. Some people might feel like this video is not helpful, but we are speaking from what we went through. A lot of people went through different things, so you can't knock somebody for not expressing what you went through because it's exactly what we went through. So yeah, I want you guys to look at this video as like something that can be helpful for a friend, a family member. Like or, motivation. Yeah, basically express for your kids love. Love is love. So yeah, basically parents, let them be who they want to be. That's honestly like the best thing that y'all can do. Like for real. Don't hate on them. Don't discourage them just let them love let them love okay yeah so i hope you guys like this video hit us up for advice please hit us up with stories that you guys want us to tell in the next subject sunday this is episode one so episode two will be next sunday so be ready for the next topic the next topic we will be going to our dms and helping people with their advice whatever questions they have for us so yeah just stay tuned Okay, thank you guys. Love you so much.